Hey, welcome to this Nations at War digital gameplay video. If you love platoon level tactical games, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Nations at War digital. Now, I've done one video on this. It was the first look, and I think today is going to be like the second first look, first look again, uh, you know, first look another time, because the reason I haven't done any more videos after the first look was that, the, although beautiful, which it is a beautiful game, the AI was kind of acting weird. Well, Lock and Load's been doing a lot of work. That base scenario, that odd nut scenario has changed. The behavior of the AI has changed and the setup has changed and it's now an entirely different thing so since i know it pretty well I, I understand the scenario i want to do it again and let you have two different videos that you can compare and see the progress that's been made on on this game because it's it's worthwhile if this is something you're interested in but you're wondering you know mm, how's this going to work well it's very good so we're going to do that but before we do hey you know the youtube ritual subscribe like share comment you can do that right i mean if you, i'd appreciate it it helped the channel a lot you know and uh and it, you know i don't know what else to say about that it's it's just has to be said and i do appreciate everybody who has done any one or more of those things thank you so much and finally if you're really looking to toss me some love i'm old and i'm sleepy i could use a cup of coffee there's a link in the channel in the description of this video where you can do just that buy me a cup of coffee okay let's get in there enemy ai da -da 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 -da. okay now now i'm going to do something funky and tricky that you hopefully you'll not notice and off we go All right, now, I think I said the scenario has changed in that the AI is moving smarter than it has before, and the Americans don't have their artillery anymore other than their 60 millimeter mortar. The Germans have three really grim artillery strikes and they can really put a hurt on you so you've got to rethink your uh, deployment i believe that a woods edge deployment against this force is just looking you know for you to get smeared so instead of trying to stop them out here by smashing them with artillery as they come across this open zone we're going to look for a kill sack in here uh which well actually a kill sack that kind of in here we're going to try to set up to do that and then we'll watch this flank and this flank maybe if we need to i'm of the opinion that the ai probably is making a mistake sending units off in each direction i haven't seen that work out well for them in terms of getting units off the map uh you but yeah i don't know we'll see another thing to uh to, to notice is that right off the bat i noticed this goofy road Thing, and I thought well, it was a graphics problem they'll fix the map and, and in fact I have been told that that's a uh, that's deliberate it's there to, uh, to to give them a clue that they still have something to do in here <laughs> it's kind of a don't forget to do something in this scenario type thing so that's uh, that's that's kind of neat all right now I have been struggling with some things one two three four five I think that's a good place to drop some infantry sir, in the yes, headquarters um, I've had some problems that I, I need to have some words with the guys at lock and load because sometimes if I place a headquarters let's say I had that infantry unit and this guy in the same hex and I think I'm attaching it to the infantry I end up attaching it to the anti-tank gun which is a very bad thing I don't like that at all um we're gonna put one guy up there to guard that flank we're going to put the anti-tank gun there we're gonna put one two guys there uh another guy there 
one guy there. Uh, we're going to give one of these guys a heavy machine gun. We're going to give uh, him the heavy machine gun. Now the mortar. I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What do I do with the mortar? The last time I played this scenario, I put him right here. And he drew a lot of attention. And these guys actually slowed down to shoot at him. They never really hurt him. And uh, and he actually disrupted, got a disruption or two as they crossed. All in all, it was kind of a big meh. Although, I think it's fair to say that it did slow the German advance a bit because they spent so much time spending uh, movement points during their activations to shoot at him. Part of me wants to put it like here and have it run to here to contribute to what I hope to be a kill sack right there. Um, heck with it. We're going to put it there. we got some improved positions. Now what's interesting is I can place these improved positions anywhere. I have a very narrow, limited... I think it's this row, this row, and this row for deployment. But I can put improved positions anywhere, which I think is interesting. I'll put one there because that's where I want to hope to get my... Uh, I want to hope to get my um, anti-tank gun, if we can get there before the Germans do. And one here. So we're kind of reverse sloping. Oh, here they come. We're kind of reverse sloping uh, without a slope. So we're doing reverse kind of the reverse of the uh, covered positions. Now, the Germans will blow us up if they get a second move before we get a move. And that... Okay, oh, we've got an intern, and it got back to me. Okay. And what I mean by that is, let's talk about this game again. And for those of you who have not played games that have like this shit draw mechanic it's very much a board game thing if you get into the normal game not normal game but the game paradigm i should say where it's i go you go and you do things expecting well he'll do this and i'll do that you're gonna get caught flat-footed and surprised well, you're going to get caught flat-footed sometimes anyway, because that's the way this works. But at least you won't be surprised, because the last time I played this, the Germans made their move, and the turn ended, because it, it drew in turn, in turn, and then it drew comp group whatever these guys are. Comp group Beck. And it was like, oh, 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 they're coming on fast and I didn't get to do anything. And my guys are stuck where they are. That will be uncomfortable for some people, but it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It means replayability is massive and surprise is fun. Okay? You're going to be hard-pressed to find pat solutions to these tactical problems because the turn sequence is no, the turn sequence isn't unpredictable. The, the the impulse is who gets to do what when in any given turn and the turn length is unpredictable. I love that. That's fun. So anyway, okay, I, I, I've been off get off your soapbox, you moron and do some uh, do some activations. Who can you see? Well, I'd like to see the, uh, I'd, I'd like it if I could see the um, headquarters, but I cannot. So we will, not much, what is that, the Tiger? You know, I, you, it's really hard to hurt without artillery. Uh, the Panzer IV, last time I played, the Panzer IV rolled off every hit I made. If I rolled a hit, it rolled one or two off. If I rolled two hits, it rolled two hits off. I could not disrupt that thing for anything with anybody. And the Tiger's worse. But what the heck? It's what we got to shoot at. Oh, we got a hit! And he did roll it off! So here I am, holding forth, like, you know, just pedantic as I can be. I'm teaching everybody how this works. Oh, yeah, I'll roll it off. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, uh, the random number god. The random number god doesn't care. 
it's a fickle fickle god and uh, it does what it wants okay well we got our truck in position although we haven't gotten the guns deployed uh now i'm wondering if this guy is really going for a run in this direction just i want to get off this woods line so we're going to go there um and i want my headquarters to get away from this position so if he drops artillery on it he doesn't blow me up and I want the same thing this guy I'm kind of tempted to go there because he can go there 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 so he's gonna go to there and enter overwatch perform operations from there I should I, don't know. I probably could have entered overwatch there I'm not even sure what entering overwatch does you think maybe I ought to read the rules I don't think there's a cert Wow that's looking nicer oh wait a minute is it really this looks a hundred times nicer now I don't see a search facility well I'm glad I looked in here because this looks very much like they replaced what they had in there they must have just had a placeholder look at this all it needs to be just I mean this is great all it needs just to be freaking awesome is a search but then again we should have right, we have a line of sight um, opportunity fire assault combat overrun I'm not real sure where to look for defensive or for overwatch forming rallies formation impulse Check path. Da -da 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 I don't know. Good order. It's a bonuses. Maximum defensive bonuses. Hey, um, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking time that we need to do other things. We'll figure that out another time. Let's see. What else do I need to do with this um, activation? Really? I really think I need to move him off the front. He can go back if uh, if he needs to. And I don't see any need to move these guys except perhaps in this direction. Again, to get them all. And again, I don't know what the heck Overwatch does, but there it is. All right, so these guys are falling back. Ultimately, uh, we could end up with this guy over here or up here. Uh, this guy will probably dodge back that way if they really are coming that way. If they really push everybody that way, these guys are going to have to go that way. And these guys are going to have to try to cross this zone. It could be, I, I don't know, I've never seen them do it. I've never seen them do it that way. But uh, I think we've finished the activation. Turn. In turn. Okay. That was a quick turn. And, uh, see, we've only got one guy available for a fire mission, I think. No, he can't even shoot there, so we've, we've avoided... Believe me, he'll get his fire missions in before it's all said and done. Aha! He's running for the gap, which makes sense, really. They've got a long ways to go, barely enough time to get there if nobody shoots at them. And, uh, going around a corner is just difficult. And this is there. I don't want to sugarcoat. Look at that. He got another turn. It went straight to turn three, and he got another turn. Um. He didn't rally the tiger. What was I going to say before I got all distracted? Ah, uh, if there's anything there. Oh, oh, oh. That's going to hurt. In fact, that's going to kill me. No, no. It just reduced him. Okay, I thought they only. Okay. The AI has a tendency to shove the headquarters forward too far, too fast. And that's not good. He ends up it ends up 
well, at least last time, it ended up with a bunch of units back here doing this stuff that uh, put it in the world of hurt. Now we're going to lose him. Well, okay. Seemed like a good idea at the time. But again, this is breaking down so that he got so many turns before I got a turn that he was able to slip through here without opportunity firing, without me being in position there. Now, does that... That's kind of bad for me. Um, from the point of view of winning. But it's kind of cool for me from the point of view of, can you believe how slick this is? Wow. Okay, this guy is going to, uh, in fact, I also have to start thinking about, uh, all of a sudden I got a problem here. This guy is, these guys are about to start taking hits from uh, artillery. I got to start scattering. Um, in fact, I had the whole entire, almost everything down here wiped out from uh, one really tough artillery strike last time I played. It was depressing. Uh, this guy has to take a shot there. Uh, miss! This is shaping up to be an AI win. If I don't start getting my, uh, I'll start getting my head in the game. Don't start getting some breaks on activations and some breaks on dice. And by breaks, I don't mean even. I mean, I'm up to get lucky. And that ain't lucky. Okay, if he hits this guy with artillery, which he may or may not be able to do because of line of sight, then this guy there... Or here will get hit. But if he moves to here, he definitely can see me here. And I may get crunched from artillery. Joy. Joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Mm. Also, moving this guy to here means that when he comes around the corner, he can drop one there and bash everybody. So it's really much more difficult than it was before. Yeah, I'm actually kind of in a quandary right now. Uh, I don't want to move to there because that would give him a chance to hit all this with, of course he'd have to hit that guy, but if he moved him first and then hit it, no he can't. He can't. If I move to here, he has to make that decision at the front of the turn, which means his guys will be in the zone of destruction. Huh. But at that point, I'm taking a big risk with my headquarters unit. Huh. <laughs> Life just ain't fair. It just ain't fair. Uh, I don't think... He can see this guy, but he could... Uh, what the heck? In for a penny, in for a pound. Missed. If he had been there, he'd have got blown up just as well. Let's... Uh, um, yeah, I'm really running into... Uh, We're just going to have to wait. Let's finish the activation. Back to us. See? Sometimes it breaks for us, babe. Sometimes it breaks for us. Okay, well, we've got this guy in the kill zone. We've got one, two, three, four units that can work him over. We're going to save... We're going to save the gun... And shoot with these guys first. And see how we do. Two hits. Outstanding. Even better. Disrupted and reduced. Take that, you kraut. And then we're going to use this guy without the machine gun. 
and Miss Miss. Uh, he's disrupted. All right, now we're getting into how long will this turn last. I want these guys to move, and I and we still have people around to react to their move. So we're going to finish this activation. Not only that, the further to the right these little yellow dots go. See, we just got three in a row. <laughs> the further to the right these little yellow dots go, while they're standing around here, the happier I am. So, where they got turn, turn. Now we just got turn 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 some folks are going to find that frustrating you know, it's a matter of taste me I think it's brilliant you can play this game over and over again the same situation and it will not play the same twice one hit it did not roll it off and Fire sack, that kill zone, now officially has a wreck. And um, I'm for it. And once again, think about it's like lock and load tactical digital. Not the same, but it's very much like lock and load tactical digital in that these activations are part of your strategy. I don't want to use, I don't have to kill him. I don't care if all these guys are alive at the end of the game if they aren't off over here. So although I could uh, move, let's say, to attack over here or something like that, uh, there's just no reason for me to. I'm not even going to move this guy. We're just going to sit here and let him use his resources, leaving me with things to react with. Now, you know, for the next two turns, he may just get turned. Activation, activation, killer artillery strikes, and, you know, th there you go. That's the breaks, man. That's the random number, God. Let's uh, let's finish the activation. Okay, he got his. We're still in turn five. Now, I see he's having to do command checks because he's advanced his, his headquarters too far. That's still a weakness, in my opinion. So far, we haven't had to deal with our artillery because of our rear, our our back of the back of the um, back of the the obstacle, back of the cover strategy. Now he is moving this guy. Do I want an opportunity fire? Um, now see, that's kind of a tough call, isn't it? With this guy. I think it's wise to open opportunity fire with with one of these guys and to do it against the uh, SDKFZ 251. Oh my God! Oh God! Oh God! That's him shooting at me. He moved. He moved forward. He used movement points to to shoot, and then I shot and got a hit, but he rolled it off. I need to set that so we can actually see it. Now he fires again on the move. Beautiful thing. And he's moving in here. Now this is gonna get snazzy. And he's gonna hit this guy with artillery. We hope we get a chance to get away from there before he does. But we're gonna go ahead and opportunity fire there. And miss. I'm not even sure that was wise. I might ought to have left it there and then assaulted him or something. I don't know. It, it It's hard to say because it's not I go, you go, and I can predict what's coming. In turn. In turn. In turn. And to him. So in turn six, he got the first pull. He's going to have some disruptions and command checks to make. And here comes the artillery that I was afraid of. Oh, he chose not to use it. Isn't that interesting? Well, we're going to choose to use... Well, he's already... I guess we have to use this guy. Because <clears throat> we haven't had a turn. We haven't had a chance to... Yeah, okay. And we're going to fire at him. And he fires on the move. 
misses. I think that gray die is an indication of the protection that that uh, that improved position gives us. But I could be wrong. Okay, he's roaring past us. The fight's on in the woods. And we have to be out in the open there. That's not good. Maybe I should have moved him. What do you think? And somebody gets an opportunity fire uh, opportunity with him, and I will take it. Confirm. One hit. No roll off. Disruption. Mama's got to love that. I also love the fact that we are very tight on top of him, which means this guy is not likely to get hit with artillery because it'll blow him up. Turn seven, and he gets the next move. Ugh. I bet you this guy gets hit with artillery. And? Oh, that's interesting. I don't understand it, but that's interesting. He missed. He didn't miss that time. That's not good. Oh, it is good when they roll four misses. He got two hits there. We roll one of them off. We'll be disrupted. That's not too bad. These guys got a pretty good chance to recover. Now, they got another... They got one more airstrike. They may use uh, airstrike. It's artillery. He could choose to use it. Now he's gone straight into combat. This is playing so much better better than it did when we first did the video. I am so fired up, I can't think. So cool. So cool. He could actually get off the board. And he's, by God, going for it. Ooh, he got a hit. Oh, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to roll off some disruptions. It's gonna get kind of hairy up here. I think that's the improved position acting there. I'm holding my breath. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Woo! How cool is this? It is golden age for games of this type. We did not rally. We did rally there. Did this guy enter the woods? He did. Huh. <clears throat> Isn't that interesting he did well there's not a lot of choice here we're gonna to have to take a shot unfortunately hurting this guy is very difficult he should have two dice for a no he's got three dice for a four 50 percent shot times three and we get uh let's see we get three dice for a six the chance of hurting him is pretty low but you know what now that I think about it he's not the only guy we can shoot at this guy gets one die for a six to save and as much as I'd like to kill that guy he is just not the guy to shoot at he is go Ha! It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Cross-eyed. <laughs> you cross-eyed. I'm not going to say it. I'll lose my family-friendly status. <laughs> you cross-eyed. <laughs> ah, okay. Form operations. Fire. And miss. I am going to... I am going to... Show you guys... How to lose this scenario, aren't I? Oh, because the, we got two hits. He rolled one off. But he's disrupted. I'll take that. Um, this guy. Shoot there. Two hits. Ooh. And no... Outstanding. Now, this guy, perform operations, assault overrun. I don't know if that's smart or not, but we're going to find out. Oh, yes, it was smart. Oh, yes, it was smart. Slick. 
that was slick, baby. All right, this guy. Farm operations, move to there. Attack and go. Miss. Got a big woof. All right, we're done. We've shot our wad. It's turn seven. Three more turns. This is getting scary, but I'm having fun. Let's finish it and go. End turn. End turn. Turn eight. And back to us. Oh, my God, we're lucky. Well, he didn't recover his. But he did so good down here by giving him that one-two punch that, you know, it, it's hard to complain. Be very difficult to complain about that. Okay, we're back here. We're going to shoot at this guy again. Got a hit. About time. Didn't roll it off. Outstanding. He's reduced. And now here's an interesting situation. It is extraordinarily tempting to take this guy and assault him. And if there wasn't a tiger who can roll around the corner and catch me in the open, which I don't think would be a good thing. I think I would, but this guy should be in a, an improved position. We're just going to take the safe bet right now. Shoot at that guy and hope that we can get some lucky hits that he can't roll off. One hit. No roll off. And the kill sack is looking like a kill sack. There's wrecks all over the place. Now, I don't know if this guy can uh, reach out that far. No, he can shoot at him. Which we will. Got a hit. Oh, we're getting lucky now. We're getting very lucky now. Yeah, the random number god. I, 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 I need to... I need to... Really, I need to honor him. <laughs> he's, uh... He's treating me real nice right now. He's treating me very nice. Alright, form operations... Uh, cancel, cancel. Form operations. Shoot at him. Hit! Oh, delightful. Oh, that's delightful. He's suppressed. He's... Uh, form operations. I don't know if we can pull this off twice, but now that we've got them disrupted... Not having sat down and read the rules in detail, not knowing what dice are affected, how the dice are affected by this dis disruption, if at all. But it looks to me, just from a gamer's point of view, that the good, you know, the smart money is, if they're suppressed, get in and among them. So let's do it. Oh yeah! Man. I'm treating the I am smacking the AI around like a red-headed stepchild all of a sudden. Uh that means this guy can move. Might be a dangerous idea to move, but and if he goes here, he can still get smacked by artillery no matter what. Uh, uh, uh. Or I can go out there and try to hit that tiger. But you know what? He says with a great big yawn. If I were him, I'd drop the artillery right there and smack everybody and her dog. And I don't think I can change that problem. I think that's outside of my ability to manage. Other than taking this guy and moving to here. Which... Light, no matter where he hits, he's got, you know, this would have been, that's still a lot of guys. But it's not as many. The problem with that is one, two, three, four, five. That'll leave one guy out of command. But we're going to do it anyway. All right. Finish the activation. Back to him. Command check. He failed. Command check. He, oh, I forgot all about that guy, that mortar. But, you know, who cares? He rallied. Here comes the fire mission. What did I tell you? 
What did I tell you? Ouch! Boy, this artillery is evil. Ouch! This is payback. Maybe I should have not just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, the random number God hates me now. He loved me a minute ago. He hates me now. What a fickle God is the random number God. Okay, he's got another shot here. We rolled it off. What is he doing falling back? He must... What is that about? Alright, he shoots and it looks like maybe our improved position got to work. I'm not sure. Maybe it only works when he rolls a 6 or something. I don't know. There he goes going for the corner. Doesn't matter. There's not enough time for that to work. Turn. Back to me. We're in turn 9. Um... We rallied, 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 man, look at that, he's being sweet to me, the random number God is being sweet to me on the backside, but he gives with one hand, or takes away with one hand, he gives back with the other, ouch, that hurt, um, I guess this guy passed his command check. I didn't see it, but I guess he did. Shoot. No hits. Um, same deal here. Perform operations. Shoot. No hits. Back to this guy. Operation shoot. No hits. No hits. Four hits. No, I hadn't done it. Uh -huh. One hit! And no defense. Disrupted. Ah. It feels so good. Um. Forum operations. Go there. Get out of this freaking artillery kill zone. <clears throat> it's more than I can stand. He cannot win. So what I need to do is avoid this three unit eliminated thing. Which tells me I need to... Cancel operations. I can go there. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I, I, okay. The, the, my initial thought was the best. Go there. Get out of the, get out of the kill zone. And finally, perform operations... One hit, one roll off. And I don't know why this guy is not show we're not getting we're not getting ops complete consistently. Yeah. Finish the activation. Turn nine he gets his activation. Failed his command check, failed his rally. Here comes the tiger. And he poured it on, but the 57 millimeter rode it out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I tell you what, the spring pollen's killing me. Ah, and he got his next turn. It turn ended, it went straight to him, but he's really bollocked up. Doesn't seem to be able to sort it out. Lost a bunch of guys. At this point, I don't see... Never mind, it's obvious. There's no winning this for him. Um, really, I think playing as the uh, Axis, playing the Germans, you'd have a better chance to win than the AI does. But against a smart Allied player, a smart American player, you're going to really be challenged. Ouch! Turn, turn, game. And there you are. The Allies have thwarted, the Americans have thwarted the German plans. Now, if this is the first time you've watched this video, uh, at least on my channel, I can't speak about anywhere else, go back and watch the first one I did and see the difference in how 
the AI plays and uh, between them, uh, the the AI improvements. And I'm not going to pretend that the AI is as good as a bright human being. I don't think it is. I think it almost never is in any game. So that's not really a criticism. It's simply an observation. Go see how different it's playing, and notice how they balance the scenarios so that the. I mean, I, I two or three times I took the Germans apart just by getting lucky out here with an artillery strike. Lock and load's all over this, man. They're doing good work. I'm loving it. I'm hoping you're enjoying it. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button, and please share and comment. See you again soon.